So if you've ever wanted to create these sort of images where you have some sort of MacBook or it could be a laptop or an iPhone or something like that where you have a picture of your website or an image or a product or something that you're selling, which you can use on your website, social media channels and things like that, I'm going to show you a really easy way that you can do that. I'm gonna go through a few different websites that you can use, some of my favorite websites to do this. And I'm gonna start off with the free websites and then go through the paid websites and go through which are the best websites to use to instantly create an image like this without having to use Photoshop or anything like that. So the first website that I recommend you check out is this website here. So all of these websites that I'll go through in this video, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, so in this video, they have a bunch of different images that you can use. Uh, you can see those here on the left. You can see there's some laptops. There's also some phones. Uh, there's also uh, some sort of picture frame. Then there's uh, the MacBooks and you can see a bunch of different images that you can use here. So what we can do is we can just uh, click on these images. You can either upload an image. You can see I uploaded one earlier. This is actually a screenshot of my website. So you can just put your URL in here and it will give you a preview of what it looks like or you can upload an image. Here's an example of one that I've used. This is from one of the slides in a presentation that I've created. And if I upload that in here, you can see what it looks like in here. Now, as it says here, this is just a rough preview. Uh, but when you download it, you can then get a higher quality uh, version of this image. So to do that, just click the download button. You can choose your size. So for this one, you can just do this size here, which is pretty big. And let's click on that and download it. So now that that's done, you can click on the size again and you should be able to download the image here and you can save it as an image. So that's just one example. And if you click on some of the other images that they have, uh, it will automatically update it so you can see what it would look like uh, so let's just say we click on the picture frame. You should be able to see what it looks like in the picture frame. On the MacBook, you can see what it looks like there. So that gives you an idea of what it all looks like. So you can see there's some pretty cool images in here. And again, you don't need to use Photoshop or anything like that to do that. Now, the second website that you can use, and this one's really good as well, is Canva. So a lot of people don't realize you can actually use Canva to do mockups. And let's just create a design. And in here, you can type in mockups. And you can see there's a bunch of different images you can use. So you can just drag that in there. Or if you don't want it like that, you can just click on it and then you can adjust the size however you want to do it. Uh, so obviously this is Instagram, so it's a square image. So I can't fit the whole image in there perfectly. Um, but it still gives you an idea of what it would look like even with just a square image. And let's see what other examples they have here. So let's just say this one here. Uh, you can just choose any images here that you want to use. And then once you have this image in here, what you then need to do is upload your own image that you want to put in here. So to do that, let me go to the upload section. Let me upload the same image that I used last time. And then you can just drag that like this and then you can just adjust the size of it. So if I just put that in here like this, uh, you can see it doesn't fit perfectly. So what I can do is I can double click on the image and then just adjust the edges slightly just so it's a little bit more of a closer fit. Okay, so you can kind of see a preview of what that would look like. So with Canva and when you're using the different mockups, if we go back here, you'll see that some of these mockups, uh, you require a pro plan to do this. Uh, so all these require pro, uh, well, this one is free and some of them are free, this one is pro. Uh, so most of them tend to be pro, but there's a few, a few free ones in there as well. Uh, I do recommend though just having a pro Canva account. I have a pro account myself. It's well worth it. You can use tons of different images and even videos and lots of different things that you can use. And it's just a monthly fee that you pay and you get access to all these extra images that you can use on your website and your social media channels, even in your YouTube videos or wherever you want. So Canva is both a free and a paid website that you can use to do these sort of mock-up images. And then the final website you can use is the one called placeit.net. Now placeit.net is probably the easiest website to use and it also has the most amount of images you can use to create different mockups. And if we go to mockups, you can see they've got a wide variety of different categories. Uh, so it's not just the, the MacBooks that you can use. There's tons of different categories you've got here, but obviously they do have the MacBooks, the iPads, the iMacs and all of those kind of images. So if we just click on MacBook as an example, and what you can do is, well, let's just put in a URL in here. Let's just use my website as an example. Or you could also just upload a screenshot if that's easier. But again, let's just use the website as an example. Let's wait for that to load. And you can see now it's going to be updating all the images in here. 
And what's really cool about this website is that they show you just by uploading one image what all of the different mockups will look like. And from what I've seen, it does look like the mockups that are created from this website do look the best. Like they look really, really professional and really well done. And you don't have to do anything to create these mockups. They're all done for you. You can see there's loads of different examples here and they all look really cool. Now, the only downside with this website is that because it's so good, obviously it's not free. So if we go to pricing, you can see the price here and to get access to unlimited mockups and the designs and the videos and all that kind of stuff, it is a $15 a month monthly fee. But for $15, you could even just use it for, for one month, create a ton of different mockups and to create lots of different mockups for just $15 is uh, well worth it in, in my opinion. So this is the, the third and final website that you can use. And there's lots and lots of different images you can use for this. And there's lots of different mockups you can go through and select different categories for. And let's just do iPad again as an example. And we also have IMAX. So again, you can see what these all look like. So these are the websites that I would recommend if you want to create your own MacBook or iMac or iPad or iPhone images uh, that you can use for your website or social media channels or other marketing material. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one.